Good afternoon, everyone. Isla de Pascua, also known as Easter Island or Rapa Nui, has just broken a cold record by 30 degrees Celsius. The temperature there was 14 degrees Fahrenheit. I couldn't believe it myself. Others also had a lot of questions. Did this really happen? A quick look at the temperature station records there, and indeed it did. Minus 8 Celsius. That converts over to 17 degrees Fahrenheit. There's two different readings, 17 degrees or 14 degrees, but either way, it did occur. And going back over the last couple of months, they've had extremely cold temperatures below freezing in two different instances. What's going on in the tropics? Quick look here on the map, Easter Island, known for its tropical environment, not known for freezing temperatures. But a rundown, 14 degrees Fahrenheit, that's incredibly cold. Taking a look through the last week, along with New Zealand, record cold temperatures, it seems the entire southern ocean areas are cooling down. Another quick look at the Easter Island temperatures for June 3rd, minus 8 Celsius. Notice the departure from there. The average temperature is 19 degrees. That low temperature was 8. That's a 30 degree swing off that. A quick temperature conversion here. Minus 8 Celsius is 17 degrees Fahrenheit. I dug in for the last couple of years to see if there were any indications of cooling trends going on. The last few months in March and May, you see below zero readings. Going back into 2014, the lowest temperature for the entire year was 10. Going back a year further into 2013, the lowest temperature for the entire year was 11 Celsius. You can see that's a 20 degree difference. And taking a look back from 1940 forward, there was a cooling event in the year 2000 to 2003. It seemed to be substantially cooler as well. The baseline trend seems to be decreasing. I think that may continue as the Southern Oceans will cool with the record ice in Antarctica this year. Jumping back in history, the temperature pattern for the Little Ice Age does show slight cooling of about a degree Celsius through that whole ocean area there. These are repeating patterns. We're starting a new grand solar minimum. The solar data is in and we are definitely heading into the new depths of the minimum. This is the first year that we're experiencing. I can't imagine what it will be like 10 years from now when we get into the coldest part of this new grand solar minimum. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, Adapt2030.